YouTube video, I sit down with Sui Ming and he shares with us what this historic win in Colorado means to him and to Team China, and also what it takes to train to become an Olympic athlete. Let's get started. You just made history last week, becoming the first rider from China to ever win a big air competition. Uh, what's remarkable is that you're only 17 years old and you've been training with the Chinese national team for the last three years. I'd like to, I'd like for you to share with everybody a little bit of insights into your athletic training and what it takes to be an Olympic, an Olympian, you know, like yourself. I mean, I'm, I'm sure you're having a lot of time on the snowboard, you know, obviously training on the mountains, but probably a lot of time in the gym. Take us through, you know, what it takes to be an Olympian. Um, to win the World Cups last week, it feels really incredible for me. It feels like dream come to true, but actually this is my first time making it to final at the World Cup and then so happy I can win. Still, like, cannot believe until right now. I was start riding when I was four years old because my parents are like snowboarding. So when I was young, nobody take care about me. So they take me to the mountain. I start riding snowboard. Even for the first time, I already like in love with this sport. So I yes. want to do more and more. So I start like hitting the jumps from the like really small jump and the rails and uh, until like I think 15, 14, 15, I decided to be this pro snowboarder and uh, have a dream for Olympic Games. Then I start training a lot, almost spent like uh, 300, 320 days, like for every year, focus on snowboarding. Wow. And uh, I met my coach. Then we start training together and uh, we are kind of like hard like workers. I almost going to be the first people go up to the mountain and the training until the sand camp down and the, until the like jump close so it's been a really good like two years for me I learned a lot every day trying to learn like new tricks and once you like focus on you what you do and uh, finally you get this trick that feeling just incredible I never feel that on other sports I think that's why I like snowboarding so much then I start doing some small competition, like uh, it's not even the World Cups, right? Trying to get points on a World Cup. Finally, now I have a chance to be on a World Cup. It feels really good to me. And also, I spend a lot of time in gyms because, you know, we are hitting the big jumps. Once you land, that's a lot of pressure for your body. So you got to make stronger. You got to hold the power. Then, the clean landing is really important for us. So we, I want to make sure I got enough power, make sure clean landing gets good points. That's how I train like gym, airbags and the, on the mountain, like back and forth. And again, 17 years old, Sui Ming, he is so well-spoken and has so much confidence. I'm really excited to be able to see him compete and see some of these amazing tricks that he can do on a snowboard.